Hello, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can use transparent images and position them freely in your scene in front of a background or something else so that you are able to make a composition after your needs with transparent images in front of a background. These transparent images can be generated by Stable Diffusion with Layer Diffusion, for example, or by ComfyUI with using the RAM BG Remove Background custom nodes. But you can also use your images from Photoshop, which you edited there, or other sources of images. So in this case, I prepared a wizard, which I want to position into a fantasy forest. I rescale the wizard and freely position it into the forest quite in the center in front of the tree and uh, based on the default workflow i will show you how you build up this workflow step by step so let's begin so we have our default workflow i use this default workflow as a last step in my workflow i will build on top of it to have another k sampler dreaming our composited image so that it uh, is more smooth and the contour of our transparent images is more integrated into uh, uh, into the new image so i will start with the load image node to load our background and i will duplicate this to load our wizard. Now to position this transparent image into the background, we need a image composite absolute node. It is uh, contained in the Allow plugin. I will link the GitHub page in the description below. we connect our background to the images A port and for the wizard we want to position in here we need some additional steps so first we I don't know why but um, sometimes ComfyUI is um, deleting or not transporting the mask correctly or the mask as alpha channel so we need to recombine image and mask so we need the alpha channel add by mask node and connect our mask we want to scale the image so we use the up scale image node which also can be used to make it smaller in this case i choose 333 and height this is this image is 1024 to 1024 and this image as well so this is a good resolution to work with stable diffusion xl um, which handles bigger resolutions better than stable diffusion 1.5 so now we resize this to make it smaller and position it in front of the tree by connecting this to the images b port in the compositing node and now we have to make some settings so i put the a as the settings x and uh, y are staying the same but we need to change the images b coordinates so i choose 330 and 522 this is uh, you really have to adjust those values to your needs whatever images you use and now we have to encode 
this to a latent image to fill it in our case sampler. We need to connect the VAE. And now let's move things a little bit to the side. Fill it into our latent image. I use the Juggernaut XL model, which is based on Stable Diffusion XL. Can delete the, the empty latent image node. And now I like to adjust the prompt. Let's do wizard in fantasy forest. Um, I use this case sampler and this workflow because uh, it's really nice to have stable diffusion dream over our image again so that every thing gets integrated. So it's important that you choose a prompt which describes somehow the image you want to produce or what is visible, what you see. Yeah, so in this case, Wizard in Fantasy Forest should do it for now. Uh, you have to really find the right word sometimes and uh, try around a little bit until you have found uh, what works for your image combinations. So that should be it. Let's give it a try. So now we see a wizard in the forest, but it has nothing to do with our images. So it is important to decrease the denoise settings. I like to do it like, let's try 50. This keeps your image alive. So you clearly have our fantasy forest and the wizard in front. And the more you decrease this denoise setting, the more you see the original image. And uh, if you increase it, stable diffusion will generate something new on top of your image. That's it. Um, for example, you can freely position your image in this forest. If I choose zero to zero, it will be in the left top corner. I think this is a standard for ConfUI or maybe also for stable diffusion. The zero coordinate of an image is always in the left top corner. So if you want to position it, you uh, have to keep that in mind. So let's create another one. So you see the wizard is now in the top left corner and yeah, we can position the wizard everywhere we want. And we also can position uh, several objects. For this, we have to duplicate this part of the workflow. And for example, let's copy and paste this one. Uh, this should go in the images A as a background and then if we want to position another with it, we have to connect everything like this. So let's make some space. I don't like it when everything is overlapping. And now let's move another wizard into the picture, something like 300, like 350 pixels to the right, and that should give us a second wizard in, inside our image. Let's have a try. So there it is. So with this, you can make a basic composition with all your transparent images in, in front of a background or something like this. And that should give you a base for complex composition. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.